Hello guys, welcome to our channel today we have Pulsar 200 and S2019 model with broken rear master cylinder. As you can see, rear brake is totally not working due to cylinder piston failure. While our mechanic opens the bracket to replace the master cylinder let's understand what is master cylinder and how does it work in brief. The master cylinder is basically a piston that pushes brake fluid into the caliper. As a result, the pressure exerted causes the brake pad to make contact with the disc brake, resulting to the vehicle stoppage. The master cylinder consists of a reservoir, a piston, and a hydraulic cylinder. The reservoir stores the brake fluid, which is typically a special type of hydraulic fluid. When the rider presses the brake pedal, a push rod connected to the pedal moves the piston inside the cylinder. As the piston moves, it creates pressure within the cylinder and forces the brake fluid out of the master cylinder through connected brake lines or hoses. As the piston moves, it compresses the brake fluid, generating hydraulic pressure within the master cylinder. This pressure is then transmitted through brake lines or hoses to the brake calipers or wheel cylinders. In disc brake systems, the pressure causes the brake calipers to squeeze the brake pads against the brake discs, creating friction and slowing down the motorcycle. In drum brake systems, the pressure forces the wheel cylinders to expand, pushing the brake shoes against the drum and generating friction to slow down or stop the motorcycle. We have already opened the bracket now let's remove the broken master cylinder. The master cylinder also incorporates a mechanism called a residual pressure valve or a metering valve in some vehicles. These valves ensure that a small amount of pressure is maintained in the brake system even when the rider releases the brake pedal. This residual pressure keeps the brake pads in contact with the brake discs or drums, reducing brake pedal travel and improving brake response time. So always use genuine spare parts for better performance. Here we are using Bajaj Genuine Master Cylinder for the replacement. The hydraulic cylinder which consists of piston is placed right behind the bracket attached with reservoir pipe, and a push rod is placed at the end brake pedal and so that whenever rider presses the brake pedal push rod connected to the pedal moves the piston inside the cylinder, which creates pressure within the cylinder and forces the brake fluid out of the master cylinder through connected brake lines or hoses. This mechanism forces the brake pad to press against the brake disc and causes to stop your motorcycle. As you can see now we have successfully installed the master cylinder kit now let's understand the role of reservoir and brake fluid. The motorcycle master cylinder reservoir and brake fluid work together to ensure proper functioning of the hydraulic brake system. Here's a brief explanation of how they work. Reservoir. The reservoir is a small container attached to the master cylinder that holds the brake fluid. It is typically made of transparent plastic, allowing the rider to monitor the fluid level easily. The reservoir is positioned above the master cylinder, which helps prevent air from entering the brake system. Brake fluid. Brake fluid is a specially formulated hydraulic fluid that is designed to withstand high temperatures and provide efficient transfer of hydraulic pressure. It has a high boiling point and low compressibility, making it suitable for the demanding conditions of the braking system. When the rider operates the brake lever, it activates the piston inside the master cylinder, which compresses the brake fluid. Here's how the reservoir and brake fluid work together in this process. A. Brake fluid movement. As the piston moves inside the master cylinder, it creates a vacuum effect, drawing brake fluid from the reservoir into the cylinder. This movement of brake fluid compensates for the displacement of fluid caused by the piston's travel. B. Fluid pressure and transmission. When the piston compresses the brake fluid, it generates hydraulic pressure. This pressure is then transmitted through the brake lines or hoses to the brake calipers or wheel cylinders. C. Fluid return. After the rider releases the brake lever, the piston in the master cylinder returns to its original position, creating a suction effect. This suction draws the brake fluid back into the master cylinder from the brake calipers or wheel cylinders, allowing for a quick release of pressure and the return of the brake pads or shoes to their resting position. D. Fluid level maintenance. The reservoir ensures a steady supply of brake fluid to the master cylinder. As the brake pads wear down over time, the fluid level in the reservoir may decrease. Therefore, regular inspection and maintenance of the fluid level are necessary to ensure optimal brake performance and prevent air from entering the system. It's important to note that brake fluid is hygroscopic, meaning it has a tendency to absorb moisture from the surrounding air over time. This can lead to a decrease in its performance and potentially cause brake system corrosion. Therefore, it is recommended to periodically replace the brake fluid as per the manufacturer's recommendations to maintain the proper functioning of the motorcycle's braking system. As you can see it might take a while to set the newly replaced master cylinder. Our mechanic is struggling with the pumping process. Also you might need to bleed your brakes. To put it simply, bleeding the brakes is the process of pushing fluid through a hydraulic brake system to ensure all air bubbles are removed. If brakes aren't bled and air bubbles are trapped within the brake fluid, hydraulic pressure is greatly reduced, making the brakes less efficient. Tadao! 
We have successfully installed the rear master cylinder of Pulsar 200 and as you can see now the brakes are working perfectly. Thank you for watching and being a part of our YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed the content and found it informative. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update from us. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more exciting videos in the future. Stay tuned and keep exploring.